What's good, Juto? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go and hit that like button for your boy. Go and hit that subscribe button for your boy. And go in and turn on the notification bells for your boy so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail of this video right here, I ain't gonna lie. This is for all y'all newbies that's coming to NBA 2K22 next gen. Now y'all know I've been stuck on next gen. I've been grinding next gen. I told y'all once I got the PS5, it was over with. But yeah, now that I have next gen, that is what I will be grinding. Now this for all the people that have not played next gen or don't know what to watch or don't know what build to make. Don't worry about it. Your boy Greg go crazy, go crazy. He got you. Don't worry about it. Now this build, this is the metric system build. Now, if you want to learn how to do the metric system like it was in 2K21, still the same way. If you don't know, but if you don't know how to do it anyway, you have to go into your settings on NBA 2K. And once you go into your settings, you have to go all the way down to where it might say Imperial System. If you're in America, you have to switch that over to metric system. And then you come into the build system. And in order to make this meta build, you're going to need to make this build the lowest height and whatever wingspan it is so you get a 99 three-point ball that's what i did to make this build. i put this build the lowest weight too so you can also be the fastest that you can be i mean i've seen the power of a 99 three-pointer the power of a 99 three-pointer in nba 2k22 is crazy and sniper makes it even crazier so i recommend you make this big i ain't gonna say you're gonna turn in a comp but you're gonna be kind of nice if you get right i ain't gonna lie as soon as you make this bitch, you're gonna be a little bit nice but you're not gonna be all the way nice because you still want to learn the gameplay and how the game work and how the game move and all that but i'm just saying though if you want to know how to make a nice build this is that build now you can see this build ends out with thir zero finishing 35 like 20 something play making 17 defensive but this build is very nice if you want to make it now as you can see i gave him limitless range for his takeover and that build I ain't gonna lie limitless range does wonders in this game and so does that hall of fame snap that's why i recommend it to make this build now as you can see once this build is complete the title of this build comes out as a playmaking shot credit. Now, as you can see, he's compared to Muggsy Bowles, Chris Paul, Kyle Lowry, blah, 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 blah. I don't about to care about none of that you did because we ain't even trying to hear about who they compared to. We just trying to go hoop and go to the park. Now, as you can see, he don't got no finishing, but he does have a lot of shooting. Now, a badge that goes crazy in this game is Mitch Max Expert. You put that on Hall of Fame, and the reason it's so overpowered is because since you're gonna be 5'7, it badge kicks in and works for a player that's six taller than six inches taller than you. My bad for messing up. It badge works if the player is six inches taller than you. So you 5'7, let's say a 6 inch guard is guarding you. You can shoot right over him. And it's a good chance it's gonna be a green just because of this badge. That's why this badge is overpowered, and I recommend you use it if you make this play. And also use Green Machine. A lot of people don't use Green Machine in this game. Now, y'all know the playmaking badges. You know, I love the Hall of Fame playmaking badges all the way because I'm a playmaker at heart. I'm a playmaker and defender at heart, so y'all know. But another thing I don't understand is why do they make it where you got to be 5'7 to get Hall of Fame playmaking? They don't even make no sense, 2K. But, hey, man, it is what it is. Now, y'all see the playmaking now. The badge that I really like is that Bullet Pass from Hall of Fame. Boy, if, I ain't gonna lie. You need Bullet Pass. A Bullet Pass is mandatory if you play with me. It's mandatory on gold. Don't put it at nothing else. If you put it at something else with silver, below, it's, it's not gonna look good. Because I'm not gonna lie. Silver Bullet Passer is terrible. And the Hall of Fame Interceptor is kind of mandatory too. Because don't nobody play that, bro. You gonna have to need Hall of Fame Interceptor. For anything hall of fame interceptor works wonders sometimes sometimes it works wonders sometimes it don't but i recommend putting that interceptor on hall of fame now this is the best badge layout for this five seven meta demigod three-point shooting fadeaway play making play making shot creator guard now on to the next build now the next build i will be showing y'all it's kind of a small forward kind of lockdown type of build. I'm not going to lie. Now, as I said, I made him left-handed. Now, y'all don't have to make this build left-handed. Y'all can make it whatever height y'all want, whatever. Now, me personally, 
I made this build 2.05 meters. Now I changed the weight a little bit. I changed the wingspan. Now I changed all. I changed the weight really because of the speed. Now I want to make sure all my players are fast enough, unless they're center. Now they're center. You might can make them fast. You might not. But it really depends. You dig? Now the body type really don't matter. But me, I always put my players defined or built. That's just me personally. Now, as you can see, I did get this player 85 driving dunk and a 70 finishing. Now, I also gave him max out his three pointer, which is like 77. And I also put his max out his mid range, which you can put the mid range at like a 70 and be alright. Because a lot of players in this, a lot of players in this game do not use mid range. Don't know why they don't use mid range, but hey, some people do, some people don't. I always put the free throw at a 70, so you can use this build in the park. Pro Am, Rec, anything, any game mode. That's why I put the free throw at 70 at all times. Because regardless, you're going to hit it. And I always try to make sure all my players have bullet passer. Like I said, that badge is mandatory. Because if you have bullet passer on silver, like if you pass the ball from your teammate, like he down the court, it's not going to get there in time. It's a good chance that the ball is going to get stolen. And it's going to be a turnover on you. So that's why I just say make sure you put it mandatory on gold so that's the best way i can see the play in with 33 finishing too now as you can see i put stuff blocks for his take and i also just put like some i think i put out box out wall i think don't really know let's see yeah i put out oh, i put i see the future on but as you can see this build title comes out as a two-way pass versus wing now i also did make a better version of this build it's called a mid range facilitator the build is in the build, the build, the mid-range facilitator is on my channel. If you want to go check that out, go check it out. It is on my channel. Now, the best bass layer I would give this build would be gold limitless, silver profiles, and sil silver slithery finisher. Now, those badges do work. I'm not going to lie. Now, green machine is a slip norm badge a lot of people do not use. But me, I recommend you use green machine. It does work in 2K22 next gen. Now nah, mandatory another shooting badge is mandatory Hall of Fame sniper. Y'all should know about that. Everybody uses Hall of Fame sniper. Now on my team, y'all already know. Like I just said, gold bullet passer is mandatory if you are on my team. The badges works wonders. If you don't believe me, the difference between silver bullet passer and gold bullet passer is crazy on 2K22. It is crazy how different that badge can change a game. Like literally, that badge can that badge can change the game. Now y'all know the defensive badge is the best part right here. Now that Hall of Fame interceptor, woo, gold brick, gold pick dodge works sometimes, but not a lot. But that gold interceptor does work too. Now that Hall of Fame run protector is gonna do some work too. I ain't even gonna lie. Now this would be the best badge layer I would give my six eight six nine type player. This would be the best badge layer you would try to give this player. And I would also give him Hall of Fame chest down artist because you know, hey. Well, silver, I mean, gold chase on ours, and switch it to something else. I mean, but this is the best bass layer I would give this type of play because most likely he's going to be playing. I mean, really, it depends on what you want to do because I know some people that use this build to play center in the wreck when they're like guard and weird, but hey, that's on to my small forward build. Now, the final build I will be releasing to you guys is this Giannis type build right here. Now this Giannis Cinder type build, it's kind of nice. I ain't gonna lie. Now I use this build in the Imperial system. I use this build in the regular system, as you can see, right here, right now. This build right now is seven foot, and I think I load yeah, I load this like the six eleven. Oh yeah, six eleven. I think. Now the weight really don't matter. I want all my builds fast. Like I said, that's the most mandatory thing. If we don't do nothing else, make sure the build is fast. Cause if it's not fast, you're not gonna want to play with it. Ain't nobody want no slow build. Be for real. You want a slow park build, bro? Nobody wants a slow park build. Nobody. Nobody. Now, as you can see, right now, I think I maxed out his finishing. Not even maxed out his finishing. Not my bad. But I did max out his standing up so he can at least get Hall of Fame posterizing. Right now, he has 16 finishing and right badges. now, he has 23 finishing badges, which is I maxed out his three-pointer. And I also gave him max out a mid range. But like I said, you can also put his mid range lower to a 70. 
and I would also make this free throw at 72, which gave him 23 shooting badges. Now, the butt making, I made sure he had just enough to have gold bullet passes. Like I always say, gold bullet passes. Y'all gonna hear me continue saying that in this video because if y'all don't learn nothing else, y'all gonna learn about that gold bullet pass. <laughs> y'all know nothing else, y'all gonna learn about that gold bullet pass. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I maxed out his interior defense why oh, tweet it just enough so he could get that hall of fame brick wall brick wall my bad can't speak but <laughs> hey we all mess up but you know i tried to give him enough still so he could just get silver silver um interceptor and i gave him everything else which gave him 33 defensive badges now the final badge count is 17 23 12 and 33 now, I tried to tweak some, but I forgot what I tried to tweak. Try to give him more rebounding, I think, but it really didn't work out. So I just threw the extra stuff on something else like stamina, which really don't need. I mean, he's a 611 center. I mean, it works sometimes, but like I said, you're not really going to be running on a fast break with a center. You really just, you just not. Like, just not possible. You're not going to be out on the fast break with a center. Yo, throw me the ball. No, bro. You're going to be down the court the majority of the time. But. For this Giannis type build, the takeover I gave him is paint intimidation, and I also gave him box out wall. Now, as you can see, this build name comes out as a two-way stretch glass, and they compare him to Rudy Gobert, Clint Capella, Ben Wallace. Now, the difference between them and this player, they can't shoot like me. That's one thing they can't do. They cannot shoot the ball like me. Now, for a good badge for a center on this type of build, you would want to have Hall of Fame, Fast Twitch, or Gold at least. Fast Twitch is a badge that allows you to finish quick at the rim. It allows you to dunk quicker. So, for instance, y'all know how you always do those quick dunks on like the twos or the threes? That's what that badge is for. It's a badge now. It's not just like on current and you just dunk it. But on here, it's a whole badge. So, it's badge is mandatory. Like, without the badge, the center going to dunk something, probably get blocked, and you're going to be mad. So, I recommend you put that badge on. Now, another badge I recommend you put on is Go Hot Zone. Y'all know about Go Hot Zone. And an underrated badge people really don't use and don't know about is Green Machine. Green Machine is an underrated badge. A lot of people don't use Green Machine. But me, personally, I like using Green Machine on all of my builds because I know this badge works. It really does work. Like I said... I'm going to always put my players with gold bullet passes. Mandatory on my team because if not, you can't pass. You can't do nothing. If I'm on that fast break and you throw me the ball with bronze bullet passes, bro, that's a turnover for you, and we can't do nothing. Whole possession wasted. But for the defensive badges, I gave him Hall of Fame brick wall, silver interceptions. That's the best I could work with. I mean, you're going to have to work with it as a center. You're not going to really still be stealing the ball. I gave him Hall of Fame rim protector, Hall of Fame rebound chaser, Hall of Fame intimidate. Because y'all know that intimidate go works wonders. Intimidate only works if like the player's right in front of you. But yeah, man, these are the best badges for the new builds after the Christmas update, man. These are the best badges I would give my players if I made them. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to share the video with everybody you know. And I'm out.